It's been a while since we've done a video, so I wanted to do a project update for the jungles. You know, we've got a few different things we're going for this year when it comes to the jungles. We've got multiple breedings to, you know, a lot of different things. One of which is we have got some females now, like this pastel, who carries the jungle gene that we are going to try to get a super. Uh, I've got this girl and a, a cinnamon girl who also carries jungle that, you know, we're attempting the super pairing. Okay, here what you're looking at, in case some people say, well, you just got a pretty pastel. That's uh, why I want to do this. This is the mother that produced that pastel along with the, the daughter. You can clearly see night and day how the jungle gene actually interacted with the pastel and just really made that a beautiful animal. I mean, this is not the greatest pastel line on the right from a collar standpoint. I mean, okay, another one I want to show, um, and this one probably won't generate any interest because it has desert mixed in, but this girl also was produced by the mother uh, that we showed a little earlier. Now, the crazy thing with this is unbelievable pattern, and she just has a very, very bright look to her. The jungle and desert really interact well. Uh, we produced a jungle uh, desert russo uh, this past year, and the offspring of that are absolutely amazing. I don't know of anything that desert doesn't bring out great qualities in. Uh, and this girl, she's fat. Um, I estimate her in the 1200 gram range, uh, so she's really no slouch when it comes to picking up weight either. She is, uh, she is definitely a good grower. Um, you know, not that it really matters in the, in the scheme of things with the, the controversy surrounding deserts and their inability to produce viable clutches, but, you know, this isn't a little, uh, little skinny snake.